Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 7.32 a.m. 52 degrees. The wind is 12 miles an hour out of the southeast today. Complete opposite of yesterday. Supposed to go up into the 60s today. So that's not too bad at all, right? We can uh, we can deal with that. Tugboat out there pushing a barge. A tug or a tow. I'll never learn the difference. <laughs> that one is the Maverick. And that usually operates out of Port Aransas, Texas. According to our free app, vessel finder days getting started guys and why we are enjoying the sunrise we're gonna have breakfast breakfast of champions we're not going to put it in a bowl we are going to eat it uh, right out of the pouch <laughs> and we're going to see if we can film this without spilling it everywhere I just wanted to show it to you. I had one of these for lunch yesterday and uh, they're not bad at all. So this is the side of Fulton Community Church. They will be set up as a warming center from 6 p.m. Sunday night until noon on Tuesday. If uh, you need a place to come to stay warm, they will be open. They do a lot for the community here. They also do uh, food distributions and just, uh, I, I know of a few people who attend church here. Really good people. So you can look them up on Facebook, look up the address online, Fulton Community Church, Fulton, Texas. Here's the information that I got from their Facebook page. If you know of anyone, please pass it along. Wonder if... He needs a warming station. So I just took a break and filmed my afternoon video. And I'm heading back to Rockport Beach so I can get it uh, uploaded. And then I'll work on uh, answering comments from last night. This is, uh, this is what I do every day. <laughs> Nothing like having fruit on your steering wheel. I'm telling you. I always enjoy living in my truck, but sometimes it's things like this. Just drives me bananas. I don't think I'm going to be doing much cooking if the temperature is going to be 20 degrees. So today I'm going to have a fettuccine Alfredo with chicken mountain house. I've had these before, and uh, it's really good. Always take out the do not eat. That is not a seasoning packet. And this calls for 11 and a half ounces of water. There's 16.9 in a bottle, so I tend to eyeball everything. Boiling water. Let it sit for five, stir it, let it sit for 10. And you come out with this goodness. Absolutely delicious. The tide level is extremely low. You can see how far the sand goes out. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but right where that little wooden sign is out there, it's super shallow as well. While I was uh, making my lunch, a boat got stuck on it. And about a half hour later, a uh, tow boat came and uh, got them off the, the sandbar there. So you gotta be careful, guys. 
I got a joke from my buddy Steve. How much did the pirate pay to get his ears pierced? That's an easy one. About a buccaneer. About a buccaneer. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. So to prep for this upcoming storm, made sure all my winter clothes were clean and accessible. Ordered uh, some curbside from uh, Walmart. Just make sure I have water and things like that. Hopefully it won't freeze. Make sure I'm right by the water for a few hours so my brakes could squeak. <laughs> Haven't squeaked all day. Waited for me to start filming. And uh, I did want to uh, say thank you. I met on Friday the Cook family from Iowa. Very nice people. I had met them uh, two years ago and I uh, had a little talk with them at Rockport Beach. Um, just super cool. And they gave me a gift card to Texas Roadhouse. So I do want to get to Corpus to, uh, once this cold front moves along. And uh, there's four locations in Corpus that I want to film at that were suggested by you guys. And I will use my uh, Texas Roadhouse gift card while I'm over in Corpus. So Cook family, thank you very much. It was uh, very nice to meet you guys and to talk for a little bit. I also want to thank a few people here in town that have basically said, hey, come over to my property and plug in. Very nice of you guys. Uh, my friend here in town, Pat. Pat has his own ch channel, Pat Travels. And uh, said if you need it, it's here, come use it. Um, Bob and Kathy Albin, who uh, own Albin Exterminators. Bob has stopped and talked to me several times over the years. Very nice man. And he's just like, you know, if you need a place to plug in, <laughs> don't be afraid to ask. So Bob's all, Bob also offered me ice. He has an ice machine. He said I could use whenever I needed to. And I don't think I'll be needing any ice in the next few days, Bob. <laughs> But thank you, that uh, is very nice of you. And then I had my normal group of friends that I hang out with uh, just checking to see if I was going to be okay. There's an egret. And I'm actually filming this Saturday at 2.13 in the afternoon. I mean, it's 64 degrees. And 24 hours from now, it's going to be 60 degrees. So I can wake up Sunday and uh, get a few more things done. But this is what Rockport, Texas looks like before a uh, Arctic blast comes through. You guys be safe. I know everyone's telling me, you know, it's going to be 20 here, but... Where they're at, it's going to be minus 30 and minus 40. Go go sleep in your truck for four or five days and see how you make out in that. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I hope everyone is safe. Uh, d check on your friends and uh, take care of each other. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.